Yo, what is good everyone? So, Beta 2 of iOS 13 has been released recently, and I want to go ahead and share with you guys some of the changes that I found and some of its useful features that they just recently integrated. Starting off with Apple CarPlay. Whenever you're playing your music, your album, image album will now be displayed right in front of the home screen right here. And the same thing will happen to your podcast. If you're listening to your podcast or even audiobooks, there's going to be a little window right there. And another thing new, inside this new home menu that we got from Apple CarPlay, right here where your maps is, if you have a destination you're going to, it's actually going to display the ETA right here and will automatically adapt during traffic conditions. So if you run into rush hour, it's going to adapt and show you guys and show you the ETA right there on your display. And on the side there, it will also display us the speed limit down this road as well. But now back to our phone. Now on photos, something interesting, if you actually go on your photos, tap on a photo you like, tap on the little share up arrow, and if you scroll down, you will see create watch face. And then it will show you these two options to choose from. And simply just tap on it, add to your watch, and now we have it on our Apple Watch. But now something to quickly note that was actually kind of funny. If you take a look at that little image icon, it actually says dummy image to prevent warning. I don't know what this means, but I'm sure in the future they're going to update it with an actual Apple Watch icon. Right now, this is a temporary hold, I guess. Taking a screenshot, it has also been revamped and improved. On iOS 13, it will automatically align crops boxes to certain areas. So if you want to take a screenshot and remove all the dark borders around, just focus on what you're trying to capture. It will automatically line up as you can see right here. Now taking a look at Safari, whenever you hit that little share icon above here, we now have a new option right above our share sheet. When you click on this, it gives us three new options to share the link. You got automatic where it will automatically pick the most suitable format for each application or action. And then you got PDF, which of course will be a PDF or web archive. And just by looking at the footage, yeah, these are some of the bugs you expect to find on a beta, of course, iOS 13. It's just common. Now, opening up HomeKit, we actually get a couple new integrations for our Apple HomePod if you have one of those. If we read the watermark, it will tell you Siri will be now able to recognize multiple different voices. And then if you continue, it will also be able to do this very similar thing on an Apple TV. And then moving on, going on to Apple's map, they also added new stuff. Such as look around and 3D image is now available for not just San Francisco, but now Honolulu, Las Vegas. And if we go ahead and go on to Honolulu, tap on look around, and there we have it. Honolulu now has look around, which is kind of cool. I still think this looks really incredible. Another very interesting change was the new Wi-Fi labels. Before, this was named under no network but now they change it to my network and then going into voice messages on voicemails if you have the translation enabled there's now new icons down here another interesting thing that i notice is whenever you're listening to like a podcast or your music for example there's now this smooth animation if you just pull down the image to what you're playing like so and it'll bring you back to the library so if you just pull down this now has like a smooth transition when sending messages with Memoji stickers now, Apple has integrated a few new stickers to choose from. We now have the peace sign, the up and down, and the shush icon, I guess that's how you would call it. If you ask me, I prefer using regular emojis. If I have to do facial expressions, uh, the stickers, I don't know, they're kind of creepy. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section if you guys, out of curiosity, really use these or you just don't really use them because I don't really use them again. And then back to the home page, if you have your phone unmuted, then if you 3D press, there's actually a new sound that plays whenever you 3D press on anything. Here, take a listen. And then while I was 3D pressing, I noticed that when on the notes, there's actually a new icon here that allows us to add this to a widget. So whatever recent note you had, you can actually add this on your widgets. And if you scroll to your widget page, you'll see it right here. So yeah, that's interesting. Then when bringing down control center, right here where your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is now at, you no longer have to press directly in the center to activate this window. You can now press and hold whatever section on that little square and will automatically take you to this page. To select Wi-Fi, toggle, anything you like to toggle right here for a quick shortcut. Exploring to the settings, I notice underneath accessibilities, we now have something called RTT and TTY. And from what I found online, 
on iPhone 6 and later with carrier plans from Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile standard voice call rates apply to RTT calls. So from my understanding, it's a real-time text is what it stands for and it feature can make it easier for customers with hearing and speak impairments. It will carry the conversation through text. Then another new thing I found out on the files app if you click on the three dots on the right hand corner, you are now able to actually connect to the server. This was here before, but before we weren't able to actually connect it. With this beta 2, we can now connect it to a server such as SMB server will work and APFS drives will also be supportive for this as well. And then if you have voice control enabled, from my understanding, I'm not going to enable this. I don't want to mess anything up, but there's going to be a new icon right next to your timer. So if you have voiceover enabled, that's going to show up right there. That's something new. They just recently integrated. And then back in our settings, if you have time screen downtime setting enabled, it will actually sync to your Apple Watch as well now. Then the wallpaper app, this little icon in the middle, the parallax toggle will actually work when selecting the wallpaper this time. Now, if you wanted to do like that three dimension effect, this is how you will enable or disable it. And then lastly, if you have an iPhone XS or XS Max, you now have a new portrait mode feature. It's a new highlight key that allows you to edit the depth of field effect without having to take the photo. Since I'm using an iPhone 10, this doesn't support it, so I'm unable to actually demonstrate this, but there was supposed to be a little slider underneath. This is a photo I was able to get from 925 Mac, and that's how the new layout's supposed to look like. But there you guys have it. Just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of all the cool new features and new changes that they did on beta 2 of iOS 13. Still no official announcement when exactly the public beta will be available. It has been confirmed that it will be available sometime in July, but no exact date just yet. If you guys know the date, feel free to comment down below. I'll pin that comment in the, on top of this video as soon as the official date has been released. Just keep in mind, this is still beta unless you have a second phone. If worse comes to worse, there's still that slight chance. And I'm quite certain that you already heard this speech many times before from articles and other YouTube videos. So yes, do this at your own risk. But from my experience, beta 2 fix resolved some of the bugs and issues that I was commonly experiencing. I'm not experiencing any more random crashes here and there anymore as often. Still would occasionally occur, however, just not as much anymore. So just keep that in mind. Anyways, that's basically everything I want to cover in today's video. If you guys found this video informative, useful, you know what to do. Leave this video a big thumbs up as now and lets me know, but that will also strongly help support the channel. If you enjoy these kind of videos, like these tech update videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I pretty much cover anything tech related. I always make sure it's up to date and very irrelevant. So if you enjoy those type of videos, definitely do hit that subscribe button. But once again, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.